Donna, according to police, the woman who made the claim, she believed that police would work harder to recover her car if they believed there was a baby on board. So it was a white car and somebody took it. A Harlem Avenue resident who did not want to be identified is repeating a plea he overheard made to police. A report that touched off a massive manhunt for a two year old boy said to be in the back seat of a stolen white 2008 Mazda 6, similar to this one. City police pulled out all the stops. Helicopters buzzed the Harlem Park community. Unmarked patrol cars with license plate readers scanned street after street. Countless amounts of police officers, uh, police helicopters, uh, neighboring jurisdictions were asked for assistance, like aerial support if need be. Of course, you're going to start calling in resources of canine dogs if you need them. We were partnering already with MSP to work on getting an Amber Alert out. According to police, the toddler's mom says she left her car running around 10:20 a.m. on Harlem Avenue, left briefly, and when she returned, a man jumped into her car and drove off. And that's not what happened in this scenario. The vehicle is stolen, and there's still a lookout, per se, for that vehicle that is stolen. But there's no child in that vehicle. Hours later, police determined the child's mom made up the story. They found out she believed they would look harder for her stolen vehicle with a baby on board. Harlem Avenue residents, worried sick about hearing about a missing baby, are now outraged yes, to learn it was a hoax. We as citizens always complain about the police are never around when we need them. I mean, just think of all the manpower that was wasted on the lot. We got so much bigger issues to worry about, especially our children, to just fabricate a story like that is just, just crazy. Investigators discovered the child was never in harm's way. He had been dropped off at this daycare in the morning. An unidentified man carried a child that fit the description of the two-year-old out of the daycare after police declared the incident a hoax. The child was okay from the beginning of the day and uh, was never in harm's way. Police say they're reaching out to social services in connection with this case. The woman who has still not been identified is in police custody. She faces charges of making a false statement. The maximum penalty is six months in jail and or a $500 fine. Reporting live from West Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.